idiots. I've just spotted something shiny over in the corner. Mm. I'll get on it. It's like, can you imagine someone in the future saying, "Oh well, you need Crexo the Elf. He's one of the most renowned warriors in the land." Uh, but make sure you've got really hard locks and anything, because he just runs around camp looting all the boxes. Don't know why he just does. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Um, you've heard about me? Not a great deal. We've been waiting for your arrival, though. Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arlaemon. I wasn't aware elves could join the Grey Wardens. Those camped in the valley are all human. That's because most people are racist. Duncan's not, he's just a prick. <laughs> Maybe they need to start letting fewer humans in. I did not mean to offend you. Clearly your skills have impressed Duncan. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, you're not very intelligent, are you? <laughs> That's not fair. I listened to tales of the Grey Wardens and dreamt one day I too would ride a griffin into battle against slavering monsters. That'd be kind of cool. I know there are no more griffins, and my fantasies were those of a boy, but still, I remember those tales. I never thought I'd be part of them. Tell me, has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? Um... Well, Davos said we might be going into the wilds, but other than that, no. It all makes his nose twitch. I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Hmm. It's interesting, actually. He talks... He, he He's probably the only... Yeah, he's the only one out of the three of us who actually tried to get recruited, I think. Davos was just good at what he was doing, I was good at what I was doing. He entered into a tournament purposely to try and get the Great One's attention, I think. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. No, I've just got a thing for naked gay... for, for, for men. Uh, I've just got a thing for certain people. Uh, you seem to be covered in blood, sir. Um, you haven't been sentenced? No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. Hmm. Why would I want to help you? Because you might want something I don't need. Them circle wizards got a chest they keep things in. Magical things. And I stole the key. That's why I'm here. I got one of them drunk, took his key and tried to sneak to the chest. They assumed I was deserting. I can't use it from here, but I'd trade you for some food and water. Um, they d dude, you're kind of naked. They didn't find the key on you. I swallowed it, but it's uh, come back into my possession since then, so to speak. Ew. Yeah, I think I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Hold still. This what? will hurt a lot. But you can't do that. Ah, God! <laughs> oh, I was just kind of psychotic. What? What in Andraste's name did you do that for? Mm -hmm. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't give you the right to go and kill anyone you please. Explain yourself. Technically, the laws of the land say I can, but whatever. He lunged at me. I had to defend myself. Mm. I suppose you did it there. Fair enough. Well, no skin off my teeth. When they ask me why he's dead, that's what I'll tell them. <laughs> Yunk. Oh, God. Just thinking about how much of a jerk you can be in this. Because essentially the Grey Wardens laws, or the laws prescribed to Grey Wardens, is that they can do anything they wish if it bef if it helps and befits their cause. So, by argument, you could say, well, the Grey Wardens need money for a current... Will you stop looking at that? I want to rob it. Don't. Don't try the stew juice between you and me. Don't mind me, I'm just stealing things in front of you. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the, so by uh, argument they could say, we need money so they could rob a bank, for example. So the, wars, the, the, the laws apply to Grey Wardens are very kind of loose. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? No. I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Maid. She desires your presence. 
What Her Reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman oh, if Alistair. I must. Get out of my way, fool. How I love thee. You make me giggle you with know, your terrible jokes. One good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Uh, would that make your day worse? Hardly. I just like to know my chances of being turned into a toad at any given moment. Oh, it doesn't like mages then. I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit, the Dalish. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. How could you recognize me? Duncan sent word. He spoke quite highly of you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alistair, the new Grey Warden. Though I guess you knew that. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. What kind of message is Duncan spreading about me? I mean, what's the message of speaking so highly of me to Alistair? Just, oh Alistair, I found this new recruit. He's terrible. He got his friend killed and got himself infected with darkspawn taint because he was too stupid to turn around when he kept, you know, and he just kept going into ancient, evil, obviously cursed ruins. He's perfect. He'll make the greatest Grey Warden ever. What, what kind of message is that? Ugh. Can you just, like, can I do this by myself? Because, you know, I've, I've been very independent since my BFF died. I know. I felt the same way when I did this. Unfortunately, they don't give us much choice. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? Actually, yes, just recently. I've only fought them once up close. And that was before the battles here started, which Duncan has kept me out of so far. Tell me. Did you find them as monstrous as I did? They had some pretty funky face work going on, but other than that... Hideous, dangerous, but killable... Yeah, I wasn't afraid they die like anything else. I'm not quite sure what the fear of them is, other than if their faces are so terrifying that people just can't fight them properly. You'll be at an advantage, then. Most new recruits have never even seen Darkspawn. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. So the argument I saw, what was that about? Is that a lover's quarrel, perchance? <laughs> With the mage. <laughs> the circle is here at the king's request, and the chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. Oh my god, you fought the assassins? Get away from me, you neo-Nazi. Or is that something different in this game? You don't know? Quick version then. The Chantry tries to control mages because they're dangerous. So they keep Templars that train to hunt down and kill apostates. That's what I was being trained as when Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger. And the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently, they didn't get the same speech. Uh, alright, I look forward to travelling with you, you odd little man. You do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Carry forth, good sir, into the fray once more. Yes, ah, Alistair. Alistair is actually, and I don't mind admitting this, he's probably my favourite character in all of Dragon Age. And I don't mean favourite, uh, by the way, I know I'm just standing still, but I wish to explain this because I wish people to let me know in the comments and I, of what they would prefer me to do with Alistair, and I say this with the full of following reason. Alistair is one of my favourite characters because I love either upsetting him or making him happy because all the characters in your party have a relationship disposition with you and you can either improve it or you can worsen it and Alistair I find so entertaining either way 
I really do. I find it brilliant to upset him, and I find it brilliant to be friends with him. Because if you're a good character and you're friends with Alistair, you are such, like, good BFF buddies. And it's actually incredibly fun. And I do find him funny, despite all the, his quips are terrible. But equally, I find it brilliant to just jerk him around and see him have hissy fits at you. Because a lot of characters, if you get them to zero disposition with you, absolutely negative 100 or whatever it would be, they either leave or they attack you. Alistair does neither. He just whines at you a lot. And I just found that so funny. It was like, you are so pathetic that even when you are at maximum hatred of me, you cannot leave because you need me. <laughs> So, I, I just always just find that funny, but I found it also good to be friends with him. So, what would you people like? Should I be friendly to Alistair? Because I could be friendly to Alistair while still being a jerk. You could just argue that my character is a manipulative sociopath. Whereas, equally, you could argue that my character is just a jerk through and through, and he's aggressive and evil no matter what, and, and, and doesn't care what Alistair thinks of him. So, uh, I'd love to know everyone else's opinions, and that guy has a giant exclamation point over his head. Mm, this isn't good. I hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Uh, okay. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. What's the problem, officer? This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. Oh dear. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muscle first. Uh sure, I'll stick my hand into a giant into a giant dog's mouth. <laughs> Maybe you can help him, Al, sir. No, I'll do it. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. The dog looks up at you respectfully, backing down from his aggressive stance. You can see intelligence in his eyes as well as a great deal of pain. The animal is very ill. Put the muzzle on the dog. <laughs> Kill the dog. No, put the muzzle on the dog. The Mabari growls weakly but does not challenge you. After you are done, he whimpers plaintively. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Oh. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds any time soon? Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> yes. There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. They use that flower model several times in this game, and I keep noticing it, and it bothers me. Uh, I'll see if I can find one. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Oh, how nice of you. Doggies! You there, Elf. What's your name? Uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turnlow Gain that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. Come back here, Elf. I wish to relay how you should be a Dalish rather than what you currently are. Hello? I I'm sorry, is there something you needed? Uh... What do you mean? I deliver messages around the camp. You have a message for me? Yes, I have a message from my crotch to your face! Now, um... Yes... Yes, I do have a message for you. Then what is... Oh, wait! Are you the one I'm supposed to give Sir Garland's sword to? Because I think the smith's done with it. Yes... I'm the one you should give the sword to. Oh, that's such a relief. You really saved me from the switch for sure. I'd best get back to my duties again before I get in more trouble. <laughs> uh, I love the description of this sword, actually. Um, where is it? Sir Garland's sword. Uh, isn't there a description of it? I'm sure there is. Inspect. Somewhere on the field, there is a bewildered knight fighting with his dinner fork. Pity him. <laughs> uh, I love the descriptions of some of the items in this game. Where's... Oh, yeah. There they are. Like, where's Duncan? Uh, Duncan, if only I could throw you into that fire. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. You assume a lot Assuming, of things. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the maids, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. Yeah, Alistair. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. 
We can. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. Uh, we need the blood for what? More face paints? I have face tattoos. I need not of face paints. For the joining itself. I'll explain more once you've returned. Oh, yay, more secrets. Sure, you could have acquired some blood for us, you lazy, lazy so and so. <laughs> of course. You must work together to collect the components, however. It's as much a part of the joining as what comes after. And what's the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. What kind of scrolls are these then? Magical scrolls, like in Oblivion? Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities. With so many having forgotten their commitments to us, I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. And uh, what if they're no longer there? It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. And is this part of our joining too? No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. Fine. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. Be swift. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Oh, yay. Now I get to run around in some forests and, you know, get in a lot of trouble. Night. Welcome to the King's Camp, my lord. Welcome to the King's Camp, my lord. I don't know, I always imagine them speaking like that. It's just how I think. Can I get you a ladder so you can get I'm off my you back? all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. <laughs> just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. If you go down to the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. If you go down to the woods today, you better go in disguise. Today's a day the teddy bears have. Today's a day the teddy bears have the picnic.